If you're wondering why I'm uploading this video late, it's because one, I was sick a couple of times last month, two, I had my trip to Mexico, and three, the holidays. My second video, as you see here, was covering the um, Pokemon Go winter event, which included the release of Deli Bird, as well as the release of new raid bosses like Whalmer, Mobile, and Absol, just to name a few. And the gifts that were in the shop at the time that I recorded this video. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. In this episode, I'll be catching Deli Bird, which was just released today, along with some of the new ice and water type Pokemon from Gen 3. As you see here, I'm testing out the brand new AR Plus mode, which was released into Pokemon Go right around the time of the holiday event. It's an all new AR augmented reality experience for the game, which of course currently it's only available for iOS, which of course those who have iPhones or iPads can experience this new mode in Pokemon Go. But eventually down the road, there should be an Android equivalent in the works from what I heard. While making this video, I messed up saying that Sweel only had one evolutionary form. I was wrong. It has two evolutionary forms, including its final form. Despite this, it was fun to catch all those Generation 3 ice types and be able to add another Pokemon to the Generation 2 Pokedex, which means that only two Pokemon from Gen 2 have yet to be released into Pokemon Go. They are Smeargle and Celebi. When they are released, I'll let you know. In the meantime, 
enjoy me catching my first mobile after battling it in a solo raid, which I got unexpected help from a spoofer in doing, and then catching my first tour chick near the art museum. And we're about to do a mobile raid here at 24th in Pennsylvania. And then I'm gonna try and catch that tour chick that was seen nearby. So here we go. Mowile, here we come. I got some help, obviously, possibly from a spoofer. And we did it. We finally took down this mobile. Two golden raspberries, six super potions, one rare candy, two revives, final stardust, and now let's catch it. Got it. Got ourselves a new Pokemon. Mawile's now mine. Now let's appraise it. Wow, this is potentially a good one. Let's go find that Torchic now. Let's get ourselves another free ray pass. Let's go find this Torchic. It's been some new Pokestops we never sp spun before. Oh. We're on our way to catching tour chick now. It's got ourselves a new mobile, a new Pokemon. Close to getting the tour check. It's 
long as I can get it to spawn, then we're in business. And here it is. Let's spin this Pokestop first. And what do we know? We finally got a Torchic. And we got it! That's my second Hoenn starter. Now let's appraise it. It's a potentially good one, so we'll keep it. And let's get out of here. Well, an app's all just hatched at the Sprint store, and me and my friends are on our way to go battle it. Stay tuned to see if I finally succeed in catching my first Absol. Well, during this video, I end up botching the name of Whalmer and calling it by its evolved form, Whale Ord, which I was wrong, and that I apologize for. Because I was excited about this Gen 3 hype, which started back in October during the um, Halloween event. And then, right before I left for Mexico, more Gen 3 Pokemon were released. And then, the holiday event came and brought us the water and ice types that are featured in this video. Well, I finally caught my first Absol. The only... Raid boss from Gen 3 that's still left for me to battle and catch is Whale Lord. I'll let you know when I finally catch my first Whale Lord. Stay tuned, everyone. I thought I had footage of me battling and then catching Whalmer for the first time, but unfortunately I didn't. So instead, I'm telling you how it went down. It was an easy level 1 raid boss. I had help from someone who came along for the raid, and we took it down within seconds over at Washington Square Park. And its evolved form is Whale Lord, which is much bigger than Whalmer, which actually resembles a sperm whale, which I hope to eventually get after I get enough candies and evolve one of my Whalmer into a Whale Lord. Finally, a Whale Lord raid has just spawned here at Washington Square Park, and I'm about to do it. Stay tuned, as I hope to finally catch and add this whale-like Pokemon to my collection and my Pokedex. And there you have it. I finally succeeded in catching my first Whale Lord. And while you're at it, be sure to visit the, um, the shop where three new boxes popped up on Christmas Day. And that's all for this latest installment of Lost's Adventures Place Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. Please be sure to hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As I always say, it's time for adventure!